G'day guys, we are in the shed again. 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 Mate, it seems to be the place to hang out these days, especially if you want to fix stuff. Now, talking about fixing stuff, have you ever heard us use the term Keith? Now, the Keith moments, well, mate, they're a thing, that's a term that we use, all right? Because when we're out in the field, even though we've got heaps of experience in this, Apparently. for years and years and years, we still have those Keith moments where you get a brain fart and things go wrong. You had that, you had that. Keith. <laughs> So basically, what we what happened was we've got this cameraman, lovely cameraman. Yeah, we'll name him. His name's top Cam, blokes, top blokes. <laughs> and he has lots of stuff ups. And one of our trips, the other cameraman started calling him Kakadu Keith. Kakadu Keith. Too much air in his tyres, spun some wheels, drowned the camera truck. And it's like, holy crap! Get the winch. <laughs> Nolans had claimed another vehicle, and it was one of ours. No way. Not even ton of trailer. Seriously. So now every time we have a stuff up, it seems to have stuck. Keith. What about the song? Yeah. Kakadu Keith is, is back, back in town. town. He it up till the sun goes down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's a couple of Keith moments in here. But I think this show just brings the Keith out in you, to be honest. <laughs> All right, guys, so Simon's just explained what the Keith moment is. So if you've got your own Keith moment, Write it in the comments below and uh, we'll, we'll pick the one with the most likes and give you an All For Adventure prize pack. OK, guys, let's take a look at one of the first moments. No, I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him first because I'm sure I'm in trouble. There's lots of Keith moments for me. <laughs> let's get in with one of yours. All right, all right, all right. It's all yours, mate. Okay. Take it away. Carson River Track, you in the 76. Ah, oh, yes, that's an old one. Holy crap, he's going way back. Way back. Wait, so you're going to get me first? You go first. Oh, bugger. Simon's through OK, but I'm having some trouble pulling the boat through. Not sure why. Mate, what's going on? Nothing. Looks a bit like uh, you need to lock your hubs in there, buddy. Maybe I didn't lock the hubs in. It's all right. Now they're locked in, we fine. Take two. Oh yeah, look at that. It's amazing how well she goes when you actually have some power going to all four wheels. Full driving for years, mate. <laughs> mate, I know. You gotta put them hubs in, you know full drive. <laughs> I didn't forget the hub. <laughs> hey, don't those dip locks, mate? They make a difference. Oh, you crank those dip locks. Where you go. And mate, that thing just pulls. Pulls like a donkey. All right, guys, hang on. Look, just hang on, hang on, mate. All right? What about when you had the 79, mate? I, I, yeah, yeah. I distinctly recall Moving something on. very, very similar. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever ha what happened when we, you know, we're on the Holroyd River mudflats and... Uh... Oh, that's right, I did it too. Yeah, I did it too. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, Ooh, it looks a bit deeper than I thought. Well, it does look a bit soggy. It's very soggy. You're going to have to hit it pretty hard, I think. Hey, it might be better if you're in four-wheel drive. Your front hubs aren't in. I've done your treat. But now, even with his hubs locked, old mate is stuck in the mud. Come out pretty easy. I'll just hook to that nearest tree over there, eh? Yeah, away you go. <laughs> oh. Poor Simon, that's got to burn. But we're mates, and in situations like this, the important thing to remember is solidarity, friendship, working together towards that common goal, and not bringing up other people's mistakes. Right, mate. That's a rookie mistake, that one! <laughs> hey, you've done it before! You used to have hubs, remember? That was the first one to do it. Maybe the last. <laughs> That's exactly it, mate. And while we're on that subject of uh, Keith moments, what about uh, the one in Cape York? You know, like, 
You know the road rules? You know the road rules, don't you? <laughs> it doesn't seem to look like it in the bush, because you're like zooming along in the buggy, mate, and it's like, you got to give way, mate. The 600 kilos of beef. <laughs> Hell yeah, that put the wind up, mate. Boom. That put the wind up, mate, I'm telling you. <laughs> Here we go, guys. How could you forget this moment? Mate, your hair stands up when one of these guys lines you up. This guy gave me a major hurry up. And moments later, he peels off in front of the bull catcher and the side by side gets centre punched. Lucky he hits the door and does not make it through the window. That would have been all bad. So we've got this black one who's given us grief. So I'm holding him out into the open and he has just turned around and lined me up and just smoked us in the buggy. So here is where uh, Simon's little bit of carnage. You've got a bull come straight in there. That's where his horn punched a hole into the door there. It's a big hit, mate. <laughs> well, hey, look, he almost had me first up. Like, there's no doubt about it. I'm, I'm off that quad bike, mate. I'm looking for a tree. I was, I was laughing so hard watching you hiding behind your quad bike. I wasn't paying attention and... Boom, you got me too. <laughs> well, mate, look, that was, so that was the giveaway rules, right? You know, that old ball coming, yeah, you got to give right to the left. Give away to the ball. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, what about directions, mate? Yeah, you don't yeah. seem to take directions yeah. real well. You're supposed to be the team leader, mate, so I'm just like saying when you go. Go where you say. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, mate? Like, I think you need to, like, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at you going like this, but you maybe you need to uh, listen more and eat less. Yeah. <laughs> You can clearly see the track on the other side. All right, mate, it's up to you. <laughs> no, this side. I was looking at these trees here. <laughs> like, I mean, find a tree line. This is the pass I was talking about. That's the super pass. Yeah, I should have gone over there further. Yeah, no kidding. When you come out, don't go where I went. Oh, yeah, you, you reckon? No. <laughs> Doing its thing, mate. Tiny little bit of a brain fade there. Hey, do you want to pulley block it now? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a challenge, Buck. What's the challenge? To find the tracks. No, I bet you can't follow my track. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to accept that <laughs> challenge. Mate. You're not going to go for that one? That's 100% failure. <laughs> I'm going to run my truck over. The right way, of course, to speed up the recovery. That's where you get through. That's where we should have gone. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, whoops, my bad. Anyway, all that pus looks the same, mate. <laughs> mate, when you look at it, you, Jesse knew which way to go. You're like, huh? <laughs> it was lunchtime, wasn't it? <laughs> I was getting lunch ready. Yeah, yeah, man's got to eat. Is that what they say? Yeah, hell yeah, he's got to uh... eat. Look, obviously, when it comes to mud flats, you haven't worked it out yet. Because remember, in the later season, you're into it again, mate. Huh? <laughs> Someone said, get the tinny, and oh, hey, it you, was you, way past dinner time. You remember? Time. Look, I remember. <laughs> way past dinner time. <laughs> and of course, it's um, we end up being out there a lot longer than expected. That we did, but anyway, <laughs> it, it was a late dinner, wasn't it? So we got a bit of a situation here. I'm half a kilometre, I reckon, probably about half a kilometre, even more, sitting out on the set on the mud flat. The buggy is bogged, bogged a quarter of the way out. So I've got a bog there, but we got to make sure we get the buggy out now before the tide comes in. Just want to come give us a hand here, please. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Josie. Have you got the buggy out yet? <laughs> Hell no, it looks so bogged. Yeah, it's proper bogged. It's all hands on deck for this one. It's part of living in a remote like this, eh? You never know what can happen. Back with the forwards. I think you've got to get onto this yeah, hard. The forwards. It's hard here, harder. Because we're, we're on the chassis at the yeah. back. Here's the winch. So we're going to uh, bury the boat trailer in front of the buggy and use the winch on the buggy to help pull us up onto these tracks. Disaster is only hours away. 
we could lose the side by side. In front of the wheel, around the chassis. Just take out the take out the slack. That's it. That's it. Mate. Hold it. Hold it. You're not going to gas it yet. We're just going to no, get no, you no. up up onto another set. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to get away from this boggy. Oh. Go for it. Did it look like it was going to stop? <laughs> no, look at you lot flaring around in the mud. <laughs> Drive the buggy out, he said. <laughs> we'll get the boats with the buggy. Be it'll back be, before dinner. It'll be fine. He said. And that has made this one long night. <laughs> okay, enough about me, what about you? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Spill it, come on. Brand, do your worst. Brand new, back in black. Just finished bolting all the bits on it. Let's oh. go and test drive it, he says. Oh, what yeah. could go wrong, he says. Yes, yes, yes. The rollover. My <laughs> rollover. But, ah, that's one. One. What about, oh, okay, let's start with Simon. So we're talking uh, way back at Lorella Springs, 79 rollover. Then it happens. Holy shit! Oh, for venture my ass! Oh, we're talking down in WA where literally the bank was stopping you from rolling over. Oh, we're going in, going up. Holy shit! Holy quadruple shit! Ah! I think there might be a little wet patch on my seat. And then let's talk about, yeah, it's still going on. Oh, the one at Cape York when you rolled it. Like, you rolled it and I was even standing on the car to help you. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! Oh, oh, no, Here no. we go! No! I knew it would! And then, put that on top of that, we've got... Uh, there's another one there somewhere. And if we talk about quad bikes rolling out of boats, no, there's another talking, one. We're not talking All about right, that All right, yeah. And then you're actually only going... You're giving me a hard time for one little truck that like just had like a little rest <laughs> on its side. Yes, but what you failed to realise, yes, I have rolled a few vehicles, but... You rolled a brand new vehicle. All my vehicles that I rolled were second hand and out on missions. And let's face it, we yeah, go to a dealership yeah. now and they won't even let you drive a brand new car out of the showroom. Fair point. All right, let's have a let's have a look at the video. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go, go, go. He takes off and the first one sort of pulls me a little bit. And it does feel a little bit precariously sitting there. And I thought, all right. He's gonna go again, he'll get he'll get it this time and it'll just keep going and I'll I'll drive out, you know. So it snatched him out and it felt like he was out. Like I looked in my mirror and I could see the truck standing right up. And I thought, no, I've got this, I'll, I'll hit it and it'll pull it back down. I think at that stage, right at that point in time, I think I shed a little tear. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> Simon, you're gonna need that winch. Just grab my winch out or your rear winch and just get me on the angle. Straight away, when a vehicle's on its side, you wanna get it upright because the oil runs out of the sump and goes up into the cylinder area. And you, want, you don't want that oil up in there. It's not, it's not good. Adventure my ass! Come on, baby, come on. Did you see come that? On. That was messed up. The winch is going on, she's coming over, she's coming over, she's coming over. Boom. So it's precariously sitting there. Can't release Simon's winch because it'll fall back over. And I need to get my winch somewhere on something forward, because I need to be going out forward. Well, I reckon if I keep the weight on you, yeah. and you hook your winch up, and then and I, I just slowly let you go, yeah, and you yeah, slowly you. drive okay, out. You control that. And then we're not doing carnage to the side of your truck. Let's have a look at the carnage already. At least you're, up, you're, at least you're back on your feet. And you're laid in the mud, so, I, oh, a bit of a ding there. Door. Door. Oh. Fell in that hole there. Yeah. Messed up by there. As it's sort of pulling the front down, 
the sides on and, and the winch is doing its thing, I'm starting to get forward momentum. All good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, great. She just pops up over that half a metre drop off and crawls its way out. Am I out? Yeah, you're out. It's a pretty tough truck. The 79s are built pretty tough. You know, front and rear diff locks, it, this, this is one tough truck. So it actually pulled out a little bit easier than I thought it would have. It pulled around quite well. I think we're used to getting things out of the with the trailer on the back. So with no trailer on the back, a lot easier. And uh, yeah, it was nice to see it on its feet and back out of that hole. It's his truck and not mine. <laughs> Dude. How bad's the damage? <sighs> okay, mate, look, look, I did roll a brand new truck there, but hey, look, it's fully insured, it's all covered, no worries, mate, we've got full coverage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have had a few fails, a few Keith moments. Oh, yeah, now and again. But anyway, look, it's all part of the learning experience, there's no doubt about it, and um, yeah, look, it, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching our, you know, our moments, or really, our failures. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.